Hello guys, Saul here from Shexel and welcome to another episode of Shexel Tutorial. Now in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the Shexel Legislation Tracker. Now what is this template all about? This is a very unique template for logging all regulatory permits, licenses or certificate of compliance to ensure effective tracking purpose so that you have absolute control of your regulatory permits. Now why is this you know, template important? Many a times we find ourselves in situations where we are caught unaware that our permits have expired, basically because we have a lot of things that we focus on. So this template actually provides an opportunity to simplify the process of tracking your permit so that you simply have to just log it onto a system and the system actually automates the tracking process for you and gives you some sort of a visual signal to let you know that your permit is expiring soon or has expired basically or you can also tell the permit that are valid. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. All right, so this template, as I've already mentioned, is for logging, for tracking purpose for your regulatory permit. So you just begin by logging all your permits and providing the issuing authority, the license number, the department or units that the license applies, um, the date of issue, date of expiry, um, and then it's gonna track the due dates for you including the status of the permit all right and then if there's any action to take whether you are you are renewing the permit or the permit has been renewed or you are actually you submit your application or renewal is in progress so you have the option to do that here all right so after you've actually you know put provided all the entries what is interesting to note is that the days due begins to track for you and the tracking process it's automated, all right. And then once, um, based on the days, the number of days due or the days left, it's gonna give you the status of the permit. Now, if interestingly, um, categorize them such that when the valid days or the days due is more than forty-five um, days, then it's gonna be valid. If it's equal to or less than forty-five, then it's gonna be expiring soon. That is between zero and forty-five. And then once it is less than zero then obviously it has expired so this helps in the tracking purpose now of course there's an opportunity to display all of this on a pivot chart where you can tell the number of days permits are overdue in terms of expiry all right so you can tell the number of these permits have expired and that is what you have here 221 days expired 161 days expired and fire permit is 32 days has 32 days expired all right so basically you can visualize whatever you input here on the pivot chart all right and then again you can tell the number of permit that have expired and the ones that are expiring soon so without further ado let's quickly you know get into making some changes right here now assuming of course these ones have expired and you want to um, indicate that we've actually applied for renewal so maybe you need to report this to your your management or whoever you report to and you want to indicate that okay fine this permit has expired and we have submitted an application for renewal so that's what we're going to do here indicate as such that we've submitted application for renewal all right and then again when the permit you know the renewal is in progress of course when it has been pending for a while you can equally indicate as such or you're going to see renewal pending and finally when we we get it renewed all we need to do is simply you know go into the issuing date because obviously it's going to come from the same issuing authority the license number is going to change so you update that accordingly and then you would change the issuing date of course because there's going to be a new issuing date you change that accordingly so let's change it for all of them all right And then again, you just change the expiring date. So they are going to expire in 2023. All right. Now this is what happens. Automatically, it's going to indicate as valid. All right. Now there's a countdown based on today's date and the number of days due to 17th of January. All right. So as you can see from the formula bar, you are actually counting the days the number of days from 17th of january to today all right so this makes it a countdown so tomorrow the days are going to reduce further until they get to a period where if um the number of days due is actually 
between 0 to 45 it's going to actually give you expiring soon and if it's less than 0 it's going to give you uh, it's going to indicate as expired so now that we've made the changes the most important step we need to take is that we go to the data tab on the menu and we click on refresh all and as you can see it is now showing as you know it's now in the positive so basically of course we've already mentioned that all our templates can be I mean this is actually a template and you can make all the changes you want in terms of the color so um, you can change to whichever colors that you want as far as the chart is concerned but what is important to notice is that of course it updates accordingly as from as you can see from the tracker we have four valid three expiring soon so that's what we have here uh, in terms of the number of days due all right and over here too, you can tell these ones are valid these ones are valid and this is expiring soon. If you like, you can change the color to, you know, any, any color of your choice so that it's, it's actually, you know, shows distinctively. So that's it, guys. If you are actually interested in this template, visit us on shexel.com and you find all the list of our templates on the, on the home page. You scroll all the way to the middle section. Alright, so you find them here, you click on it, it takes you to the products page, you can actually drill down, click on the download button, and then you'd find um, the download page where you can actually check out. Now, we have a blog post over here, 66 HS dashboard templates. We've actually provided all the information about our template, so you simply click on the template and you'll be directed to the specific, you know, um, template and you can actually click on it to further visit the products page like what I've just done all right so that's it guys connect with sell I'm always ready to support if you want to connect simply click on the live chats we can actually have a chat or you can book a meeting all right you can also book a meeting and everything so thank you all for your attention and get in touch with sell all right, thank you. Bye for now.